What's up guys and welcome to Ivar's Fly Workshop. Today we will be tying a streamer that has been requested and is as well one of my absolutely favorite flies to fish. This is a classic pattern called Black Ghost. Everybody knows that. That is actually my go-to fly here in Iceland when it comes to fishing for brown trout. Uh, for the thread, we are using a Semperfly Nano Silk uh, black one, a 50D or 50 denier. And for the hook uh, for this fly, we are using an RX uh, Deep Streamer NS115. So uh, we'll be making. So yeah, we'll be making um, making this fly with our <clears throat> our classic uh, yellow color in the tail, and we will be using this time. We'll be using um, using a marabou tail that goes well with the uh, with the sunkers and. Uh, We'll place the tail length that's about like about the length of the hook shank, maybe a little bit longer. It just you know it uh, depends on how how long you want to keep it. And we wrap that down and secure that with our thread, and then we take the remaining uh, marabou and we wrap that forward just to keep the keep the body of the fly even and it is like an uh, it is like an uh, important uh, feature to keep the body uh, about the same width like the same bulk of it if it's possible To strengthen the fly, I'm using a sapper gap, just you know, just a little bit on the body, and this is gonna make the uh, durability and the lifetime of the fly. It's gonna increase that most likely. That's my experience. Uh, now we will be uh, tuning in the wing, and we are using a white rabbit sunker here and I let the tip of the rabbit song as you see here uh, meet the tip of the tail about not per millimeter but it's like circa about and then we have to pinch our way through the um, sunker and find the place for the for the uh, thread and I do that with a needle and with a needle it's like you get like an even um, even space and then we tie in first maybe a couple of two wraps are not too tight but then we are going to make it a bit tighter maybe up to 10 wraps just to secure the wing totally so it's not going to go anywhere when we start to cast the fly for the big brown trots and I prefer when I'm tying a sunker wing in uh, I prefer to just tie them in on two places just the place which we uh, tied that one in and then tie it down on that some people like to uh, fasten it down with uh, with a wire so just like a matuka wing I I mean that's okay but uh, I prefer to do to this method method like I'm doing here uh, the body of the fly I'm using a black floss for for the body you can use use like black wool or, or even black dubbing or just black aurora yarn just anything that is black and and that fits and it's gliding well in the in the water 
and uh, then we tie this bad boy in the black uh, floss and get it all the way to the to the back and uh, next step after that will be uh, you'll be tying in the wire I'm using a wire for it which we are not going to attach a wing with so we're using a sample fly 0 like oh, 2 mils uh, silver wire for the black host and uh, you can use like a flat silver tinsel for this if you want, but the it's uh, the strength of the wire is like what I like if you want to try to secure some durability. Then we will grab our and uh, lock in the floss couple of wraps, tight wraps, and then we'll snip away the floss, all the rest of it. Then comes the wire. Like I say, to, to, to like really tight wraps to keep it. And then we'll co helicopter the rest of the wire off. Wires like the rest of the wire, I save that actually. I, I use that for just another fly or, or some smaller flies. Yeah, remember to like, share and subscribe. It's a mandatory. I'm kidding. You, you, you can, of course, please subscribe to the channel. It's just fun to gain subscribers. For the throat of the fly or the, or, or the beard, I'm using the same material as a tail, just a uh, yellow marabou, but uh, I'm using shorter like feathers of it from a different uh, place on the on the feathers. You can use like some other different uh, materials, of course, for the uh, for the beard and for the uh, tail of the fly, but I love the combination of the rapid sunker material and then the uh, marble both of them are really like life alive in the water and they they glide well and they do something that attracts the fish and we'll just snip off this one and then we'll tie in with tight wraps to secure everything in place the throat of the fly. The uh, black ghost is originally by Herbert Wells. It's like a fly from I think I don't know Canada or America, somewhere at least from the Americas. Not a European fly, fly but uh, this is uh, yeah my go-to fly when when I go trout fishing here in Iceland and. Uh, it made really good su success with this fly. Uh, before we split the wing, we need to take some saliva on our fingers and wet the tail, put our needle through and comb it off. Then you'll get this gap between, you see, you'll get your like preferred gap and we stretch it a little bit before we take in the tight wraps to secure the, uh, secure the sunker wing. And this is like you see now, this is how important it is to not have like a too busy head on the fly. And you have to leave the uh, place there for, for stuff. You can also, uh, yeah, we'll not glue eye on this sunker. There is a different video on that. And I'll leave it like a template for that but uh, you could you can also do like a skip the throat of this fly and and do it do like a yellow hackle on it that goes very well as well and good results but i'm just tying a simple 
really simple version of this fly. Not too fancy or anything. We'll take those uh, pearl tinsel uh, stripes. They are actually two mils. They are thick. Two or three. And we'll secure them down with a couple of wraps over the wing each side so it gives the fly just like a little shiny you know just like a little flash in it i like that uh, the fist like that likes that as well at least the uh, brownies i'm catching with this fly and yeah now we'll just snip off the ends of the tinsel this tinsel I got online somewhere, and this is like way too big for almost everything I use, but using it for larger flies like this, I think it was some some, some sort of like a salt water something, some mistakes I made while <laughs> placing an order somewhere. But yeah, my bad, but not that bad, you can use it for this. And now the head of the fly is uh, almost ready, and we'll just do the whiff finishing job couple of times and we'll be good to go kind of and yeah like I said this is absolutely my favorite fly when it comes to a streamer if I'm telling you something different different I'm, I'm probably telling you not the truth and here it is the black ghost by uh, Herbert Wells in my Sankar version as you see, you can glue on like uh, eyes on it, but I'm not doing it on this one. It will be, there will be more sunkers, there will be more black ghosts on my channel, believe me. Trust me on that, this is absolutely my favorite. So to, yeah, take this bad stuff away, so it's not in the way while we are putting the cyber cap on the hat. Just wet your fingers a little bit and strike it back. So... I just want to say to you guys, thanks for watching, thanks for great reactions, and remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh -huh.